with the Pacific Ocean as a backdrop, San Diego's evenings are consistently an artist's delight. Painted in vibrant oranges and yellows, the setting sun resonates against a canvas of sky. Artist and muralist Irina Negulescu uses nature's colors with abandon on the walls and ceilings she paints in California. I love colors, I love paints. I love people. I can even put uh, the owners of the client's face in some of the work. <laughs> An infectious laugh is part of Irina's lively personality a liveliness that survived political upheaval in Romania. My husband and I, uh, he was a sailor at the time, he was an engineer on the ship, and he, when he went to Spain, he just defected, he didn't come back. It was three long years before Irina was able to join her husband in the United States in 1989. Today, Irina is doing what she loves most, painting. She's putting the finishing touches on a mural in an unlikely place, her client's spacious walk-in closet. She spends a lot of time I, probably in this little room. I probably would too. Painting closets is not new to Irina. She developed the habit as a child. When I was a little girl, I would fit anywhere because I was really thin and I would fit behind the closet and in my country the closets are furniture closets. So I would fit behind the, the closet and the whole back of the closet was, <laughs> was uh, painted. While back then the closet was covered with princesses and castles, this closet will be painted with colorful flowers and sun-ripened grapes. Irina uses photographic references of a grapevine in pole she constructed herself. The grapevine she found at a local craft store, the pole she found in a dumpster. It's funny, but a lot of times I look in the trash, you never know. Touches of brilliant orange against dark purple give the grapes a sun-kissed look. Like pencils, Irina's small brushes help her fill in color and outline her design. But if small brushes are pencils, then a brush with big bristles is the eraser. The dry bristles eliminate the appearance of brush strokes left by the smaller brushes. No detail escapes Arena's eye. Even the switchblade becomes part of the mural's illusion. And I come into the mural too, just in case the color is not exactly the same because the mural is dry already. And this is not. Four days of work have culminated into much more than paint on a wall. For Irina, it is an opportunity for fulfillment and self-expression. The most satisfaction that I have in life is being me having my work in places, uh, ha having my work being appreciated, making my own money with my own hard work. This is the most satisfaction that I get in life. Uh, more than somebody giving me a gift, more than uh, somebody treating me, it's when I treat them. This is a lot more satisfaction to me because I come from a poor country and from poor family and um, it's, it's a lot different. I don't know if anybody can understand this. With the aid of paints, brushes, and an invincible spirit, Irina Negulescu transcends challenges. In the face of hardship and change, she has mastered the art of creating spaces with enduring beauty.